What's up, guys? That's Mama Squirrel. Check her out. Nasty little thing there. And that's Baby Squirrel. There was a third one, but I think I pushed her inside when uh when I picked up the nest thing. I ain't going back through that. Okay, so client called us out to do a maintenance, but come to find out when I arrived that they actually have no air conditioning. So what I'm gonna do today is, um, instead of a maintenance, we're gonna hit, go into diagnostic. Luckily that is free, um, unless they want to do a repair. And then we could kind of move from there. We're at approximately an 84 degree day. Like the indoor unit has not turned on. So that's where we're gonna start with. We're gonna see what's going on on the inside. Turn on the thermostat, make sure it's on cooling mode and on auto. All right, so now we're up in the attic. Nice space to work with. What we're gonna look for first is to see if we're getting electric into this unit here. So I start with non-contact voltage and it does look like we do have voltage. Let's go ahead and shut this off. And you can see that the voltage does shut off. Um, remember we see that our 24 volts are right here between the R, this orange and this blue. So then we're gonna find this orange here that's on the bottom and then this blue on the top and be able to read it from there. Got the common off there and we got the 24 volts there. <sighs> Let's put our meter leads on to make sure that we have 24 volts coming out. And we do, if you look here on my meter, we are at 27.78. So there is voltage going to the board. Let's see if it's coming out. Power goes from the board to the thermostat. Find the common here. Or let's see if it's coming out of the board. We have nothing coming out of the board. That's telling me that this board is no longer working as it should. Always double check. It looks like their fuse has blown. So let's see what's causing this to blow. You use a fuse popper like this. And what you're gonna do with this fuse popper is with the power off, you're gonna go ahead and go from one side of where the fuse would be to the other side of where the fuse would be. Now, let's see what happens. Ron, I am getting voltage, but not a lot. You can even hear that the system's trying to work but nothing's happening. Something is draining all the volts. Ooh. If you look carefully, this transformer was getting really hot. Even with my fuse proper on, I wonder what's causing that. So with nothing else connected, I do have 27 volts coming back out. So something's going on on a different component. So what I'm gonna do is test just the blower side of things, no contactor, and see if the blower kicks in. All right, All right so the blower is on now, and I don't see the transformer cooking anymore. So whatever it is, it's happening on the outside. We're gonna go ahead and check the outdoor unit now. Let's go ahead and turn off the unit for safety, and then and open up this electrical compartment, and take a look in here. Let's see if this unit actually is able to turn on. I hear the fan on. It is starting to get cool. You can feel that pipe there. So the next thing I'm going to do is pull this off. And we're going to see if it's the wiring that's bad or the contactor that's bad. So in order to do that, we're going to shut this back off, pull the wiring off the contactor itself, Make sure it's not in a place that could short it out. Let's go upstairs and reconnect the wires to see if it burns out that way. Let's go ahead and shut off the system and rewire the unit. We're gonna keep our test fuse there, but reconnecting it to the Y coming off the thermostat like so, and connect the common of the contactor here. 
Now remember, the contactor is not connected outside. So, with that being said, if this pops, it's a wire problem, not a contactor problem. Definitely got ourselves a wire problem. The transformer is starting to cook again. All right, let's see if we can actually find where the break of the wire is. We got a lot of dead squirrels in here. This is a first for me. It looks like they may have been chewing the wire right there. So that's our problem. Let's see if we can go ahead and fix it for them. So we're going to go ahead and replace the outdoor control wiring for our clients today. And the way we're going to do that is get this ran into the inside of the house. It looks like a damn cemetery in here. Got all these flies. Client was already experiencing a ton of flies in her kitchen and they didn't know why. Well, these, this is why. So, oh, this is gross, gross. It's gross. Got a baby squirrel and an adult squirrel. So it looks like this was their nest. And we're gonna pick up this nest thing as much as we can and throw it inside this bucket. Make sure you got gloves on, mask if you have it, things like that. You do not want to be breathing this crap in. Third rodent right there. So we got three dead squirrels in this attic so far. That what I think had occurred was at some point they actually got trapped in here because they, they had noticed that there were squirrels. And so somebody covered the hole. And when they covered the hole, they ended up locking the squirrels in the attic. Almost done cleaning up this area. Got some... So I'm trying to drag the wire from up there, down. Hey, let's go. All right, so we ran the wire from up there, down through the line hide. We'll go ahead and wire nut it here, out of the contactor to the other. Make sure it's nice and tight. We're gonna go ahead and put our wire back on the contactor like so. Same thing here on this side. We could go ahead and close the cover like this, find our hole, and get this screwed back together. We're going to go ahead and seal this up with new foam expanding and insulating sealant. You got to do this backwards like this and make sure that you get for this whole hole that's here. We're going to wait for that to do what it's got to do. In the meantime, we're going to head upstairs and get the unit upstairs wired in client wanted me to change his filter while I was up here so that get this old one out like that ah. voila close it up and he's good to go for that through like that to bring the wire in do a loop-de-loop -loop like so get this wire cut here ahead and strip this back like so Pull this white rope to get the wires exposed. Then clean it up. Clean red and white wire right there. We'll strip these back. We'll take this red off and put the red on. Take that white wire off. This is your common wire. So that red wire was your yellow or your Y. Even though it doesn't have the same color, it is okay. The idea is that the wire goes from one side of the contactor to the other side of the contactor like this and then it gets wire nutted like take our fuse tester off like so and put our brand new fuse into the same spot turn the unit on right here before we leave we're gonna make sure it's cooling and the air conditioning is back on. 